guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty. And on Mondays, I make gnomes and characters. And on Thursdays, I do budget home decor. Today, I wanted to share with you this adorable little cowboy gnome. He's a little mini gnome with his horse, his lasso. And you want to know how to make him? Stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, for this one, you're going to need some fabric for the shirt. You're going to need some fabric for the pants. You're going to need some felt. You're going to need a, a cardboard tube a wire, some polyfill, some faux fur, some clay, some weight, some jute, and some um, cardstock. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle onto our, our um, cardstock, and that's going to cover up the base of that tube. Go ahead and cut around, leaving a half inch from the edge of where you drew that. And then we're going to add some weights. I'm just putting some 5 16 inch nuts in here just to give it some weight. You can use any size you want to. Just get some weight into the bottom of there. And then we're going to fill the rest of it with some polyfill. Now we're not going to close up the other end yet, just this bottom end first. And we're just going to go ahead and glue around that tube and glue it to our cardstock. Then we're just going to take some, our scissors and cut some slits all the way around, about half inch slits. And then we're going to start gluing it up the side. Now make sure that you spend some time on this step because you want to make sure that that is flat against that tube. And then when you get done putting gluing it together, just kind of rub the end to kind of flatten it out. Next, we're going to make the shirt. We're going to glue up one of the short sides and one of the long sides. And then we're going to take our tube and put it on the opposite side of the short side. Just glue it in. Just make sure that the top of it is flush with the top of the um, cardboard tube. It doesn't have to be on the bottom because we're going to come back in and we're going to put some pants on him. We're going to take our cardstock again and draw another circle around the base of it. And then we're going to cut that out right up to the line and we're going to glue this on top. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because the hat is going to cover all this up when we get that done too. Okay, next we're going to take our fur fur and we're going to cut it at one and a quarter by one and a half in length. And just draw your U around there to kind of get your margins so you can see them. And then just cut around the backing only all the way in that U shape and then clean any of the excess fur off. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make the pants. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and glue up one of the short sides and two of the long sides. And try to get it as straight as you can because the, the front is going to be a major focal point. So just kind of spend a little bit of time on this part. Okay, now the seam for the shirt is going to be in the front of the shirt. When you glue this, when the, you glue the pants on, glue it around to the back because the beard's going to cover up that seam in the front. So, and then the pants are going to cover up the bottom seam. So, glue this exactly opposite of the seam that's in the front. And just kind of stretch it around there to make sure it's, you know, flat because you don't want to have any uh, wrinkles in the front. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take some um, jute and we're going to put it around his waist and just tie a little belt for him. Just pull it off to the side and then just tie it in a knot. Okay, then we're going to attach the beard and we're just going to come down a half an inch from the edge and just make sure you cover that seam up. Okay, now we're going to make the hat. We're just going to glue it in half. We're going to fold it, glue this side and then fold it over in half. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the top edge as well. And then after this dries, we're just going to turn it right side out. Go ahead and clip off one of the corners there where the back and the top mat. And then you can get that pulled out pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and tuck this in because we want the top part of his hat tucked in like a cowboy hat would be. So probably, you know, tuck it in about a, maybe a three eighths of an inch and then go ahead and pull it over the tube. Pull it on down in the back and get that kind of spread out a little bit. And then go ahead and glue it in just on the back side only and the sides. Don't go up where the beard is because we're still going to put his um, nose on. Okay, now just go ahead and take your nose and we're just going to go up underneath the edge of the hat and glue that in. And then just glue the hat to the top of his nose. 
Okay, now take the top part of the hat and just pull it on down around till you get to the bottom of the hat. And then we're just going to put a light bead of glue all the way around there just to hold it in. And you won't see it once you get it glued in. Just kind of lightly pull it back. Put a little bead of glue around there and then just pull it over the top of it. Now, don't, don't mess with it too much and it will dry without you seeing any of the glue. Just kind of lightly put it on there and then go all the way around doing the same thing. Just pull it right to the edge and let it dry. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and pull the sides up and we're going to glue those to the top part of the hat. Just make sure you have everything tucked in and his hair is not in the way. Just turn it up on both sides and then just glue it in. And you don't need a lot of glue on this. Just kind of spot glue it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my knife and I'm just coming down probably a, uh, half an inch from the very top on both sides and I'm going to cut a hole in there and that's where we're going to put his arms. Just kind of make sure that they're even when you cut them. And then I'm taking some pliers, kind of open up the hole a little bit. Then I came back with a little um, dowel stick that's sharpened and ran it through both sides just to open it up a little bit more to get his arms in there real good. And now we're going to go ahead and do his um, arms. You're just going to fold up and glue up the long end and one of the short ends. And then I switched on you. I'm not using the floor wire. I decided to use pipe cleaner instead. And I just cut a 12 inch pipe cleaner in half. And I'm using half on each arm. And I forgot to tell you, you need um, some beads for his hands too. And I'm just using some 10 millimeter um, half beads. So just roll that arm up there in there real tight. And if you have any strings hanging off the, um, the top, just go ahead and cut them off and then go ahead and just glue that bead right down flat on top of there. And then do the same thing with the other arm. And then just make sure that your sleeve is really glued in here good because otherwise you're gonna, it's going to fold back and I didn't get it glued in so I had to pull it back out and glue it better. But just kind of twist your pipe cleaner together and go ahead and stick it in that hole. And then just add a little bit of glue inside that hole to hold it in place. But go ahead and get it to where the sleeve goes into the hole as well. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Just get, get it all the way in there where that, the sleeve itself is in the hole too. And then just add a little glue and just let it dry. Okay, next we're going to start making some accessories for him. We're going to make like a little lasso rope. Just go ahead and take some jute and wrap it around your fingers a few times. And then go ahead and cut it off. And then we're going to just go ahead and um, tie it off on both sides. Because we're going to, we're going to hang this off of his um, arm like he's holding it. Just kind of get those even on both sides. Okay, and then I'm taking his um, little belt and I'm just going to glue it right down to his pants. Okay, then just kind of flatten out his little lasso and we're going to hang it off of his arm. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make a little pony for him. I'm just making a shape of a horse head and I'm giving you the pattern for that also. Just take it and open it up and then just glue all the way around, leaving the bottom open because we're going to add a dowel stick in there. Okay, then we're going to add some polyfill inside. If you roll it up in a ball with your hands and use some tweezers, it's real easy to get it up into there. And you want to make sure that you get it up in there and you, and you push it to the nose of the horse as well. Just kind of push it around there until it gets into the um, front part. And just get it as full as you can. And then we're going to put a dowel stick in there. And then we're just going to glue that right in. And that's probably about a three inch stick. It's a quarter by three inch about. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a half inch just strip. And I didn't give you a pattern for this. You're just going to have to take it and um, just measure it. Just I think that one was probably three inches. And just start cutting slits all the way around because this is going to be his mane. 
and just kind of hold it up there until it's just, you know, right on top of his head. And then cut that any excess off. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it to his head. And then we're going to trim it. And then we're going to cut the slits a little bit closer um, to his head. Just trim them off a little bit shorter. And then go ahead and get a little bit closer in. Okay, next I'm going to take two little eyes. And these are just little um, button eyes. I'm going to just cut the um, stub off of them. And I'm going to glue them on. And it was easier with tweezers just to drop that on there and do the same thing for the opposite side. I'm coming back in with, um, it's a little bit darker jute that I had and I'm just tying it right around his nose. And I'm going to tie that off and I'm going to go ahead and um, pull it down uh, to the bottom part of his um, neck area so that you don't see it. Just go ahead and tie it in a couple knots and then just go ahead and trim the excess off. Okay, and then just go ahead and bend his arm so he can hold it. Just kind of drop it into his arm. And then we're going to glue it in. Just kind of get it shaped to where he can hold it so he can hold it, hold it up pretty straight. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the rope onto one arm. And then we're going to glue the horse onto the opposite arm. Okay, next I'm going to make his shoes. I'm just going to make some little pointy cowboy boots. So I'm just kind of taking the, the clay and run it into a, like a triangle shape. And then I took that stick to push it in to kind of give it a round edge towards the back of it. So it will go, it'll curve around him as well. I'm holding it up there and you can see how I did that. Do the same thing with the opposite one and go ahead and bake them. Then I took a star and I'm just going to paint it with a, like a light tan color. And that's what I'm going to put on his hat. And I'm sorry, but I did not show you how to put it on his hat. I just glued it in and I was out of the camera. So just get it glued, just get it painted on both sides and then go ahead and glue it in. And then we'll finish going ahead and um, gluing in the horse. Okay, then next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue his shoes in place. I'm showing you exactly where I'm going to put them. And I'm just taking some E6000 glue and gluing them in. All right, he was pretty easy. If you like this kind of video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.